Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will continue our discussion regarding binomial theorem. And for our specific objective, we will be getting the specific term and an expansion. Okay, so let us first review what we have discussed last time regarding binomial theorem. That the expansion of a plus b raised to n is just equal to the summation of the n combination i times a raised to n minus i times b i from 0 up to n. Or, we could say that the formula is just equal to the summation of n combination i, a raised to i times b raised to n minus i when i is equal to 0 up to n. Okay, so we just have this formula. Okay. So, I know that you are already familiar on how to use this formula for binomial theorem. Okay, so we have here question number one. And we're asked to find a specific term for the expansion. Just like this one, we're asked to get the second term in the expansion of 2x plus 3y raised to 4. All we have to do first is to identify n. And we could say that n is equal to 4. And if n is equal to 4, we have 5 terms. Okay. And if we have 5 terms, all we have to do is to get the values of i for those 5 terms. Therefore, the i now would be 0. Because always remember that we will always start with i is equal to 0. Since we have 5 terms, we'll now be having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we have 5 terms, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and these are the values of i. Now, we're asked to get the second term. And if we're asked to get the second term, we just need to count. This is the first term. This is the second term. Therefore, if we are um, asked to get the second term, all we have to use is i is equal to 1. Okay, I hope that this is clear. Or always remember that if you're asked to get the specific term, all you have to do is to subtract 1 to that term. For example, this one, second term. Therefore, i is equal to 1 because 2 minus 1 is just 1. Okay, so let us now try to get the second term in the expansion of 2x plus 3y quantity raised to 4. That n is equal to 4 and we have 5 terms. Therefore, this will now take the form n combination i, a raised to n minus i, b raised to i, where a is equal to 2x and where b is equal to 3y. Okay, so n is for the second term, for the second term, we could say that n is equal to 4, for combination of what is the value of i? 1 times a, what is our a? 2x raised to n minus i, which is 4 minus 1, that is 3, or let's just write 4 minus 1, and then what is our b? That is 3y, and then raise that to what is our i? 1. Simplifying, 4c1 will give us an answer of 4, okay? 4 combination 1 will, will just be equal to 4, 2x raised to 4 minus 1, that is just 2x raised to 3, 3y raised to 1 is just 3y, okay? Since we have here 3 and we have here 4, 4 times 3 will just be equal to 12. And then 2 cubed, therefore we have 2 cubed times x cubed and then y, okay? 12 times 2 cubed is just 8. Multiply this to x cubed y. And then we'll now be getting... 12 times 8, so what is 12 times 8? That is 96, and this becomes 96x cubed y. And our second term now would be 96x cubed y. Therefore, let's check if it is correct. The exponent is 3, and then 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, and n is equal to 4. And this is the second term. So what if we're now asked to get the last term in the expansion? So for the last term in the expansion, therefore, that is just the fifth term. Okay? Therefore, if that is the fifth term, what is the value of i? If that is the fifth term, i is equal to 5 minus 1. Therefore, that is just 4. Okay? 
So if i is equal to 4, we could say, or we could use the formula ni, a raised to n minus i, b raised to i, where a again is equal to 2x, and where b is equal to 3y. So substituting this in the equation, we will now be having ni. So what is our ni? That is 4. Our i is 4. And then multiply that to a, which is 2x, 4, raise that to 4 minus 4, and then multiply that to b, which is 3y, and then raise that to 4. Okay? So what is now 4 combination 4? 4 combination 4 will just be 1, and then multiply that to 2x raised to 4 minus 4, which is 0. Therefore, we could say that 2x raised to 0 is just equal to 1. And then we're now left with 3 raised to 4, multiply that to y raised to 4. Therefore, 3 raised to 4 is just 81. 81 times 1 is just 81. Therefore, our answer should be 81 raised to 4. And that is the last term. Again, this is our last term. Okay, so that's for exam that is for our example one and our example two. So let us now try to answer other examples. So we're now asked here to get the fifth term of b plus two raised to seven. So again, we are asked to get the fifth term. If that is the fifth term, therefore, what is our i? Very good. I is equal to four. Okay. If i is equal to four, what is our n? Our n is equal to 7. And how many number of terms? Okay, very good. We have 8 terms. Okay, again, so we'll now be using the formula. So our formula would be this one. So that is ni times a raised to n minus i, b raised to i. Okay, where our a is equal to b and where our b is equal to 2. Okay, ni substitute n which is 7 substitute i which is 4 our a is b therefore this becomes b raised to n minus i which is 7 minus 4 our b is 2 multiply that to 2 raised to 4 7 c4 what is our 7 c4 that is 35 therefore this becomes 35 b raised to 7 minus 4 and that is b cubed 2 raised to 4 is 16 therefore this becomes 16 and 35 times 16 is yes that is 560 and this becomes 560 b cube and that is the fifth term of the expansion okay so that is how we get the fifth term of the expansion of b, b plus 2 quantity raised to 7 so let's continue our discussion. So what if we're now asked to get the 12th term of 3n minus 1 raised to 15? Again, this is the 12th term. If we are getting the 12th term, what is i? Very good. 11 because we just subtract 1 from the number of terms. So that is the 12th term, i is equal to 11 because we will be starting with i is equal to 0. Our n is equal to, yes, that is 15. Therefore, how many terms do we have for the expansion? 16 terms. Okay. Again, the formula is ni times a raised to n minus i, b raised to i. So, what is our a? Our a is 3n, while our b is negative 1. Substituting this in the formula, for the binomial theorem, this becomes n is 15, i is 11, a is 3n, and then raise that to n minus i, therefore that is 15 minus 11, our b is negative 1, negative 1 raised to 11. 15, c11, 15 combination of 11 is 1365, this is 1365, and then 3n raised to 15 minus 11, that is 3n raised to 4. 
negative 1 raised to 11, 11 is an odd number. Therefore, this is a negative base and that is negative 1. Therefore, our answer would just be negative 1. Okay? Simplifying, this becomes now 1,365 times 3 raised to 4 times n raised to 4. Since this is negative 1, this just becomes negative 1,365. Okay, we'll, we'll now be having negative 1,365 times 3 raised to 4 is 81. So, let's write here 81 n raised to 4. And what is negative 1,365 multiplied to 81? Yes, that should be negative 110,565 n raised to 4. And this is the 12th term. Again, this is the 12th term of the expansion of 3n minus 1 quantity raised to 15. Okay, so that is the process on how we could expand a binomial without expanding it fully and just getting the specific term. Okay, so let's have another example. Okay, so we're now asked here to get the fifth term of 2x minus square root of y raised to 20. Again, this is fifth term. If this is fifth term, we're asked to get the fifth term. What is the value of i? Very good. i is equal to 4. If i is equal to 4, what is the given value of n? 20. And if n is equal to 20, how many number of terms? We have 21 terms. Okay. The formula now, ni times a raised to n minus i times b raised to i, where a is equal to 2x and where y is equal to negative, where, our, where b, I mean, where b is equal to negative square root of y. Okay. Substituting all these values to the formula, this becomes ni, that is 24, a which is 2x, raise that to 20 minus 4, rb is negative square root of y, and raise that to 4. Okay, so let us now try to simplify. 20 C4 is how much? So that is 4,000. 4,845. Again, 20 C4. 20 C4 is 4,845. Okay, so let's continue. For this one, this becomes 2x raised to 20 minus 4, which is 16. Negative square root of y could be written as negative y raised to 1 half. Raise that to 4. Okay. Since this is an even number and this is negative, it becomes positive. Okay. So, let's try to simplify it further. 4,845 times 2 raised to 16 times x raised to 16, negative y raised to 1 half, multiply 1 half by 4. Therefore, this becomes 4 over 2, and 4 over 2 is just 2, and that becomes positive y squared. Okay, we'll now be having 4,845. 2 raised to 16 is 6,000, or 65,536. Okay, x raised to 16, y squared. Again, 2 raised to 16 is just equal to 65,536. 65,536 times 4,000. Multiply that to 4,845. Therefore, our answer would be 317,521,920 x raised to 16 y squared okay so this will now be the final answer if you're asked to get the fifth term of the expansion of 2x minus square root of y quantity raised to 20 again the answer is 317 million five hundred twenty one thousand nine hundred twenty x raised to 16 y squared okay so let's now try to answer our last example and for our last example we are asked to get the third term of the expansion of 2x raised to 4 minus 3y squared quantity raised to 5. 
Okay, for the third term, we could say that i is equal to, for the third term, very good, i is equal to 2. And n is equal to 5. Therefore, how many number of terms? We have 6 terms for this one. Okay, if that is the case, we'll now be able to write the formula ni times a raised to n minus i times b raised to i, where a is equal to 2x raised to 4, and while b is negative 3y squared. Okay, so that is the value of a and b. So ni, therefore, this becomes 5, 2, 5 combination of 2, our a is 2x raised to 4, quantity raised to 5 minus 2, times b, which is negative 3y squared, squared, okay, quantity raised to 2. 5 combination of 2, what is 5 combination of 2? Okay, so that is just 10. Again, 5 combination of 2, so what is 5 combination of 2? Will give us an answer of 10. So, in that case, this becomes now 2x 2x raised to 4 raised to 3 and then negative 3 squared so this is negative 3 squared multiply that to y raised to 4 okay so this is 10 multiply that to 2 cubed and then multiply that to negative 3 squared so what is negative 3 squared that is positive 9 so we have positive 9 and then multiply that to x raised to 4 raised to 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Therefore, that is x raised to 12. And then multiply that to y raised to 4. Okay? 10 times 9 is 90. 2 cubed is just 8. x raised to 12. y raised to 4. 90 times 8 will give us an answer of 720. Therefore, the third term now is 720, x raised to 12, y raised to 4. Okay, so that is how we solve for the third term of the expansion of 2x raised to 4 minus 3y squared quantity raised to 5. So, if you have comments, if you have suggestions, questions, and clarifications regarding binomial theorem and how to get a specific term in a binomial expansion, you may message me on my Facebook account, on my Twitter, on, on my Instagram. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.